Hey guys, I'm Nova Buchanan, and I'm going to be telling you guys about a case of communication that I witnessed. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Three's Company, but it's a really old, hilarious show, and it's full of miscommunications. I don't know what's wrong with these people, but they cannot communicate at all. So, I was watching this one episode. It happened to be the first episode called A Man About the House, and this is when Janet and Christy first get introduced to Jack. And the way they got introduced was kind of odd. The night before, they had a going away party for their roommate. And the next morning, Chrissy goes into the bathroom and turns on the tub where she finds a sleeping Jack. Needless to say, she had a mini heart attack. But they went in there, it turns out he was at the party last night, he crashed it, no one knew who he was. So they decided to help him out because now he was drenched in water. So they gave him a nightgown to wear. So he was walking around their house in a woman's nightgown. Meanwhile, Mr. and Mrs. Roper are downstairs, the landlords, and they're complaining about the noise from last night. So Mrs. Roper decides to go up there and ask them to quiet down for future reference. But she sees Jack, a man in woman's clothing. Needless to say, she was confused. So she goes downstairs to tell Mr. Roper about it, and he's like, this is not gonna work. I've gotta go fix this. So meanwhile, while he's making his way upstairs, a woman by the name of Patricia Crawford comes into the apartment to see about the extra room. So Mr. Roper thinks that the woman that's actually in there is the man in woman's clothing. <laughs> he proceeds to look down her shirt. Turns out <laughs> she's a lady. Um, needless to say, she flees, and he goes downstairs and explains to his wife, you were mistaken because that was an actual woman. So finally, at the end, they both go up there, and they both see Jack. So they finally figured out that the <clears throat> man that Mrs. Roper seen was actually a man. Personally, if I was Mr. Roper, I would not be walking around looking down people's dresses. I would have just asked Jenna and Chrissy about the situation, asked if there were a man in the apartment in a woman's dress, or I would have taken Mrs. Roper with me in the first place because she actually knew what he, she, it looked like. So that's how I would have handled it. All right.